So guys, I think we might have upset GCN. Oh no. Did you see that they finally addressed the hate that they were getting for that motorbike video? Yes. If you missed it, a couple of weeks ago on the podcast, we talked about how a lot of GCN's viewers seemed angry over a video where they compared bicycle and motorbike prices. The episode of the Wild Ones podcast is now one of our most listened to episodes to date. And the thumbnail for that video featured a big photo of Alex from GCN. So I think they probably saw it because on a recent GCN tech show, they addressed the hate. They acknowledged their angry viewers and admitted they probably didn't phrase stuff right. They then went back and discussed the topic of bike prices again, and this time they were much more vocal about them being too high. Nick, do you feel bad for calling them out? No, not really. <laughs> the videos are produced, so surely you sit down before and have a meeting about what you're going to say. So think about it. Somebody must be stressed. And I mean, surely they employ quite a lot of people. It's not just a, a two-man show. I think they acknowledge the criticism really well. I think it's good that they're not afraid to actually go, maybe we should do things differently. And I would like to hope or uh, think that maybe we have done them a favor and they start to understand better what is important in cycling and it isn't being a pro cyclist. It's yeah, I mean, enjoying I agree cycling. It's, it's I don't blame them for it. It's one of those things where one will get things wrong because you live your life the way you live. Or, I mean, for instance, I haven't paid for a bike in years and years. The only reason I know about the price is because I sell bikes to people where if you're an ex-professional cyclist, you're not an expert on that topic because well, you've not paid for it. So you don't know what those things When's the last cost. time they actually had to consider the price of a bike? Yeah. GCN getting on the side of bikes are too expensive is a really positive thing for consumers because they are they are massive. They have such big influence, whether they realize it or not, and I'm sure they do realize it, they have such big influence with brands and the whole the industry as a whole. So them kind of doubling down and starting to realize consumers' discontent with the price of bikes might yeah. actually assert some real change, mightn't it? The prices are just going up because the brands realize they're getting away with it. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully if somebody like them comes along and also says, whoa, slow yourselves down over here, then... I, I love the idea that um, more people with influence... Like I, like, I see GCN as an ally rather than a competitor. Yeah. And I would love it if they had... If, the, if, you know, if there was more big influential spaces that were campaigning essentially for similar things, like, for example, better value then there's much more influence, you know? Whereas historically, you've got a lot of cycling press journalism, which is so dependent on money from the brands that they're always a bit tippy-toey about what they do and what they say. Whereas I want more GCN being confident in kind of a narrative of the viewers, you know, at the end of the day. They actually made that point as well. They sort of said, because um, one of the criticisms that's leveled at them quite a lot is that they have big sponsors and they're always um, sort of showcasing very new and high-end bikes. And the point they made was that ultimately they're more interested in getting larger viewership. And I don't, whether that's true or not, I'm sure, it, you know, if they say it is true, I'm sure it's true. Um ultimately that is exactly where they need to be positioned. And that's kind of what we've always tried to do as well. Viewers first and then advertisers come. But if you lose your viewers, you don't get the yeah. advertising money either. So ultimately I think it's, I think they handled the criticism really well. I agree, Jimmy. And also now that they see how angry their viewers are, hopefully there will be a new train of thought. But that, that's what I said with the, about the magazines as well. It's reputation. And if, you guys and then them and a few others follow and do the same thing. Uh, the sponsors won't have anywhere else to go. Yeah. So they'll still have to sponsor the the channels. but And they the, will. But the customer who's uh, the actual listeners and the viewers are going to get value for money. Yeah. Which is what in the end should happen.